Today we get to turn compost mounds. Yay! You excited, Bert? Heck yeah! <laughs> I've been waiting on this for a little while. We need to get this stuff turned. We got so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's going to take a good two whole hours. Maybe more. It's cool. We stretched. We're ready for this. <laughs> we got this. We're going to fix that. <laughs> well, right now we are in the woods and we're gathering some um, brown for our compost pile. Uh, we have way too much green inside of our pile and so we came into the woods. Um, this is one of the thickets and there are leaves all over the ground and we've been collecting. We need some carbon in our piles. And yeah, this stuff is looking real good. It's been sitting back here for years and it's got tons of bug poop and mycelium going all over the place. So it's breaking down nicely and it'll um, add some nice nutrients to our compost pile. This is our compost mound after it's been turned. <laughs> yeah, look how big that thing is. Um, it's going to be a hot mound. Oh, yeah. And it'll help break down much faster. <sighs> Luckily, we only have to get out here to turn it. Like, well, <laughs> if we did it every week, it'd probably be cool. But, you know, we probably get out and do it maybe once a month or so. And that works too. Just as long as that heat has enough, you know, time to rise in the center, then we'll go ahead and flip it back over. And there is so much life happening on this right now. Kirsten, this is actually uh, more closely related to a crab than it is to, you know, like a insect. And there's there's really really big versions of these things. Uh, crawling on the ocean floor they, they can get up to like I think up to like two feet long and heavy very heavy but yeah they look just like them yeah but they perform the same function under the sea as well for the most part you know eating up detritus that falls to the ocean floor and converting it into uh, usable mineral and uh, 
nutritional content. Yay! We did it! I mean, I can already feel the temperature difference. Mm hmm. So instead of making this pile even um, any bigger, we have these buckets, these barrels, they're full of more pulp. We're going to go ahead and start another pile and give this one time to break down. So we'll start turning this one and turning this one. And by the time it breaks down, it'll probably be less than half the size it is now once it turns into dirt. And we will give it about um, six, six months from now and it'll probably be pretty well broken down other than the really big stuff like the pineapple caps I don't know about those but we'll have some good stuff in there all right ladies say bye bye friends bye friends bye friends spoiled chickens I've definitely never heard of them but we have them here <laughs> if you nourish it, it will grow. Peace.